spot. So, I'm um, starting this video right now because, um, whatever. Anyways, as the title says, I um, it's Dragon Ball Evolution. We gotta catch them all. And um, what do you call it? And I decided that if I was gonna talk crap about the movie, might as well watch it so I knew what I was talking about. You know, instead of just bashing it because of the picture that I've seen and the trailer and all this crap, right? So I sat down and um, I could not watch it completely because, um, not because, as a well, it is a bad movie in its own, but being a Dragon Ball movie, it just sucks so many balls and I'm gonna tell you right now this might get a little um what unpleasant language wise so if you are you know hardly or you can't take it the bad words then you might not want to watch this but um this uh movie um it's just um it's it's just not a Dragon Ball movie and uh, it pisses me off and let's just talk about it for a second here you got um first of all first of all there's no Krillin now um, hopefully I'm talking to people who know about Dragon Ball if you don't know about Dragon Ball I said yes you either am I should yes <laughs> if you're gonna watch the movie don't do any research just go watch the movie because you're not gonna watch the movie or you're not gonna enjoy the movie if you go you do the research and you know what Dragon Ball really is and then you go watch the movie and bam um, the movie there's no Krillin. Krillin is Goku's best friend from day one to day zero in Dragon Ball GT. Even though Dragon Ball GT was not written by uh, by Akira Toriyama and all this crap, and some people don't like it. Um, uh, what do you call it? it uh, he was a big part of Goku's life, and everybody's. It was just he is a big part. I mean, he may be a dumbass. But he was awesome. He was technically the strongest human in the show. Because he was stronger than Yamcha. Anyways. But uh, either way, he was a great character. Funny, you know, blah, 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 blah. And bold with the six dots and all this crap, right? So there's no Yamcha. Tien and um, the little, I forgot his name. They're not in the movie either. But, you know, those are characters that I could have done without. But Krilling is just such a main character in the series. It's just, just a big ass strike against the movie, but that's fine. Let's keep the let's let's see what's crack a lagging. Um, <laughs> while I was fast forwarding and watching the movie in, in you know in in bits and pieces, I come to find out that uh, Goku was sent by Piccolo. Now, this Emma, let me just sit down because I'm gonna start punching stuff. This is um. I don't even know how to explain it. Goku, is, Goku, like we all know, is a Saiyan. Saiyans were shot to different planets as babies. So when they grow up and they hit a certain age and they saw the moon, they turn into Osaru. Osaru means monkey in Japanese. It's not a special name, word. Oh my god, Osaru just means monkey. You're calling it just a monkey, right? But they use it in the movie like Osaru, Osaru. It's just really, I don't know, it's like saying monkey over and over to me. But, um,. Anyways, um, exactly, let me continue with the story. And they send them in little, you know, those little round capsules that they travel everywhere. And they send them, they, they basically they plant them in the, in, the, uh, in, the, in the planet. So they, when they grow up, you know, when they hit whatever age when it is, they then turn into the uh, humongous Osaru, which I mean humongous, I mean that thing was ginormous. And it started destroying the whole planet. So then the Saiyans could either sell it or do whatever they do with the planet. I forgot what it was. Um, but I, it, uh, I think they were all working for Freeza, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, uh, apparently, whoever wrote and directed this movie pooped on all that, and I, I think they just pooped on everything Akira Toriyama did. I don't know if Akira Toriyama had anything to do with this movie. By the looks of it, I think not, because this is just pure crap, and uh, it's just... I, I'm not sure why he was not involved in the movie and if he was what the fuck was he doing you know what I'm saying yo but anyways Piccolo apparently in the movie sent Goku Goku or o Osaru is his disciple what the fuck man seriously Woo. I'm gonna turn super saiyan um it's just 
it's so stupid when <laughs> when you've been watching Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball C and even GT and you know how the sto I mean there's a bazillion episodes of Dragon Ball in the manga and all this crap and then you decide to come and make this live action movie ouch and um and now Ozaru is Piccolo's disciple BAM okay no problem whatever bitch in the in the in the show in in any in everything Akira Toriyama let, let's just say it like that everything Akira Toriyama, Akira Toriyama related um, Goku or whoever saying is you know you need a tail to turn into a fucking Osaru you know what I'm saying you need the, the tail you need the tail you know why because they need the freaking tail that's all that's all the only the only um, thing um, the, um, what do you call it in um, let's say let, let's just put it real real simple Gohan not not the grandfather but Goku's child, Gohan, he saw the moon and turned into Osad, right? Because he had to tell the only way Piccolo, because he was training him, Piccolo was training him. And apparently that's not going to happen in the movie because Piccolo is super evil, blah, 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 suck my balls. And um, um, Piccolo, the only way he could stop him was ripping the tail off. So you need a tail to turn into a freaking Osad. But uh, I doubt that in the, any movie, if there's any going to be any movies, um, what do you call it? Um... They're not saying I don't even know how they're gonna make the whole same crap if they even make a sequel. I hope they don't. I hope this movie ends up right next to Street Fighter the movie right there. But they answer both next to each other and that's it. Anyways, let me continue. So uh yeah, no tail. Osaru is Piccolo's disciple. Okay. <clears throat> what else do I have here? Um let's see Pico <laughs> There's this scene where Piccolo is apparently bringing to life some monsters, blah blah blah, and he sits down in his spaceship that he has, or whatever chip it is, and he puts his arm, and there's th two or three needles on each side, and they stick to him, and they start draining blood, right? Now, considering Piccolo is this super magnificent, esto Namekian god, and super bitch and you know you would think that a little pinch would not hurt but he's like ah! 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 I mean dude you're just drinking you're just taking blood samples you know I mean I know it's six at a time but she's lacking crack a lacking bitch it's just blood relax chill don't even get me started with the Kamehameha Jesus Christ okay I thought I was watching you know what okay I, I didn't think I was watching Harry Potter. Harry Potter's effects of power were even better. Now, okay, let me hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm just so pissed. You don't understand? I'm pissed because I love Dragon Ball, and it was probably one of the first animes that I ever watched. And um, it's you know, it's really I wouldn't say dear to me because that sounds that's not like exaggeration or whatever.